Gemini, welcome to your first half of November general reading. Switching things up a bit here. This is going to be a general reading for the first half of November for the sign of Gemini. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Gemini placement that you find important to you. Uh, personal reading will personal reading information will be linked and listed in the description box. Any jewelry seen will also be linked and listed. And all the decks that I use will be linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Um, and time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading is usually when the message is meant to be heard. What we got going on for you, Jemmy? I do only take jumpers as well, so patience is appreciated. Two more cards for Gemini, please. First half of November, what do they need to know? Okay, very nice. One more card, please. Ace of Cups wanted to flip out, but didn't. Take that. All right, bottom of the deck, we are looking at Major Arcana, the Tower. Scorpio energy could be important to you. Um, tower can mean different things, right? A lot of people are scared of the tower, but tower can bring good things too. If you win the lotto, that's a tower moment. Your entire life is going to change. Your entire foundation or existence or way of living paradigm is about to crumble and be rebuilt, right? Tower doesn't necessarily mean negative change. It just means something that happens that really changes shit out of your control with it being a major arcana okay the moon card pisces energy and the knight of wands uh sagittarius energy could be important to you some sort of unknown hidden factor here with the moon card also could be pertaining to fear i also see the four pentacles so some of you could have had um it's funny i said win the lotto because i do see some pentacle energy here excuse me there could have been some fear or worry around finances, right? Particular job opportunities or, you know, making sure that you have enough and you have a stable foundation. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, though, this is usually like... Um, could be a person, absolutely could be a person that is um, unreliable for you. That's why there's some fear around finances because, you know, there is someone in your life that you cannot rely on. Fun person, great person, you know, life of the party, but can't be really relied on for practical things. So there could be some fear around that. If this is finances for you, could be just representing the kind of energy that you're in. You're kind of in between jobs at one job, one next job. There's nothing really solid that you can really sink your teeth into. So there might be some fears around that. The moon could also be hidden emotion, emotions that are not being seen or shown emotions that you are not aware of because the moon does rule our emotions with the three of pentacles and the nine of cups in your present position there's some sort of group effort here so for some of you this is work related some fear or you know some um, worry around work um type of thing but i don't think there's any need to worry coming in with the nine of cups that's very content energy that's my living your best life card right someone that has accomplished a lot of things someone that has um great you know success they're very happy with their quality of life whatever that looks like for you kind of smug but you know how we get as human beings when we accomplish a lot of things we get smug okay that's just what it is but i don't think this is too smug this is kind of telling me if there is any worry that you do have around stability or work there's no need to worry nine of cups is also a wish fulfillment card especially with that tower energy Four of Pentacles and the Hangman in your future energy. The Four of Pentacles is my Grinch card. Someone that doesn't really give time, energy, funds, however it is. Someone that's kind of penny pinching if we're talking about money. If we're talking about a relationship where you cannot depend on someone to build. And you, ideally, you would like to build towards something instead of just kind of being on this flighty motion. You might decide to pull back your energy. Plain and simple. You might decide to pull back your energy. Doesn't make sense. Put your eggs in baskets that aren't even formed or imaginary baskets, right? Could be starting to see something from a new perspective here. Or something could go stagnant, but I th do think this is more speaking to 
This could also be saying if this is related to finances, there could be some sacrifice that is needed just for a little bit. Because the hangman is, you know, making a sacrifice for the greater good. He chose to go up there and hang and chill and let all the blood rush to his head in order to get ahead for the future, right? So you could be setting to sacrifice some things until you get some sort of stability in, or you could just be seeing something from a new perspective and saying, you know what, if this is a relationship, I don't need to be investing in anything that does not invest in me. Anything that has me unsure, I don't need to put it, I don't need to be giving it energy like that. You know, instead of worrying, just get rid of the problem altogether, especially if this is a person. Tower, death. Yeah, something could be coming to an end here. Or it's getting ready to transform. Maybe once you realize you have, once you start looking at things differently, might force whatever the situation this is to step up. Person, place, or thing. If it's a job and you don't start, you know, you start kind of just doing what you're supposed to be doing and not overdoing it, they're like, wait a minute, why aren't you doing, you know, why aren't you going above and beyond like you usually do? And it's like, well, that's not my job. That's not my in my in my job description, sir. It's like, okay, well, maybe we need to make that your job description then. Total change, right? All because you took a different approach. All because you chose to see things differently. Took yourself out of a um, victim mentality and took back control. Because the tower and the death card, that is huge changes to your foundation, to your reality, to your paradigm. Transformation energy. This is uh, caterpillar to butterfly energy right and with the six of cups beautiful energy too pure like energy genuine energy here for some of you where this is love it's almost like we're not official type of thing this is just an example if this is a romantic situation you're dating someone it's fun it's great but you know you want something serious so you're gonna, you're gonna stop doing the girlfriend things or boyfriend things until you are a girlfriend or boyfriend you no longer are doing the things that you might have been doing before right things that you're happy to do but it just makes sense for the, for the preservation, right? It makes sense because you've come a long way, you've learned a lot of things. And in actuality, this is what exactly gets you to be a girlfriend or boyfriend. Because there's a realization here that there's an energy that's pure. Someone is seeing things. Yeah. It's like, oh, I need to invest more. If I want to keep this in my life, I need to invest more. Because I do recognize this is a pure connection, a genuine connection. Something that is worth investing in with the Seven of Pentacles. Someone could have been stuck at a crossroads not wanting to make a decision before. We're going to have to now, okay? We're going to have to now, okay? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get a look at the potential. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. See? It's like as soon as you demand it, as soon as shit becomes your standard... The universe has no choice but to give you your standard. You know what I mean? A lot of us, we don't set the standard, but expect the standard. We set the standard. Whatever. Some people have some outrageous standards. We hear people, crazy stories all the time of people that have outrageous standards. But yet, there's somebody out there that's going to meet those as outrageous as they are. Because every shoe, every pot has its cover, right? And we said, we, we tell the vibration what it is. We tell the vibration. We tell the universe what it is we're looking for and what it is we're willing to settle for. So as soon as you decide to stop settling or stop playing the role before the title kind of vibe, that's when the whole shit just changes. Everything just changes. For the better, obviously. It's beautiful energy. Big changes. I mean, like, big old, fat old, like, stupid changes beautiful let's get some oracles for you gemini what we got going on for gemini first half of november what do they need to know okay that's a lot i'll take two a time for healing came out surrender to the divine yeah very much that surrender did very much that hangman energy healing and surrender that's exactly what needs to be done do only what the job title tells you. If you don't have a job title, then you shouldn't be working there. Unless you're trying to get voluntary hours. Right? Be bold and make the first move. Meditate and contemplate. Pisces energy. New moon in Pisces. Be bold and make the first move. This is absolutely saying set your standard. You better set your standard because you're not going to get it until it's set. You're not going to get it until you set it. 
Okay, so if there's any type of stuckness, you're, you know, you're allowing the stuckness. Demand the price and add tax. Who can afford it will buy it. And you don't want anyone that can't afford it anyways. This is how we always end up right back where we started, usually, right? Or in regret or this or that or, you know, set the price, leave it at the price, charge tax. And, you know, that's just what it is. Animal Oracle. Okay. <laughs> reclaim your power number 44 you are being protected my dear and you do have a four here too this is also a very protective energy with the four of pentacles can be grinchy but it also is a state of protection and i think in this situation you are absolutely allowed to protect what is valuable to you your time money energy especially if you're not being collaborated with right reclaim your power panther spirit and a listen bitch affirmation for Gemini. Yes, so from now on, we're going to be doing two love readings a month and two general readings a month, okay? That's the new lineup. First half, second half, love, general. And we're going to try that. What do we have for Gemini? Oops. One card for Gemini, please. Hangman energy is also Pisces energy. So Pisces could play a role here because I do see Pisces and energy here as well. I'm hearing North Node and Pisces. Pisces season could play a significant time role as well. So can Sagittarius season, which is coming up with that Sag energy of the, King, of the Knight of Wands. But it's kind of like energetic ultimatum is the vibe I'm getting here. But it's going to get you exactly what you want. <laughs> For some of you, that bratty uh, energy of the Nine of Cups, the way he's sitting, some of you, that is absolute. The universe says you can be bratty. Not like, you know, but you're allowed to demand your value. And you shouldn't be settling for less than. Especially if you know you're worth it, right? Listen, even flowers go through dirt and shit. Keep blooming Anyways, very much a self-worth card here. Even flowers go through dirt and shit. Don't let that stop you. Not because you're human and you have flaws. That doesn't mean you're less worthy or you can't demand your value. That's the only way it's going to get met if the price is set to that. You can't expect $5 and put $2 on the website. You understand what I'm saying? That is your reading, Gemini. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you all in two weeks. Well, next week if you want a love reading. Bye.